going on, Legion? Azrael here. Like always, we got two clip. Well, we got a clip and I think an actual trailer. Uh, um, almost a two-minute trailer. So we got a clip and a trailer of this incredible, incredible show, franchise, everything about it. Fantastic Beasts. I, I mean, I, I binged all the Harry Potter. I, I kind of had saw them, and then I, but I've never really seen all of them. And I watched all of them in a row, and then I think I watched all of them in a row again. And then Fantastic, or all of Fantastic Beasts, all of them, all of them again. Fantastic Beasts over like the span of a, a two years or something. Um, incredible. I will say, if you haven't seen the other trailer that we're gonna about to check out, it opens up with these grassy hills that looks like a, leading to a specific school. And I was like, oh, and I, I had to pause it so fast. I had to stop because I was already getting a reaction to what I was seeing. And it, it, it honestly, it ruined it in a way because it, when you click the video before you even hit play, before there's even a second, it shows those grassy hills. And I, I immediately went, oh, is that it? And I was like, shit, like, no, sorry for the language for anybody that's maybe younger. Sorry. Uh, I went, no, like I wanted to get that reaction for the channel and for you guys, but so let's just get into it, check it out, see what it's all about. It's gonna be good. This is the this is the short clip. We'll do the second one in a second. <laughs> wow, really? Okay, I see what they're doing. March 13th. I'm a little late on that, about three days late. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's get rid of that. I'm not even going to do the other thing. See, this is what I was like, oh, yay. And then it ruined it. It, it showed, it, it shouldn't have, it, there should have been like a little buffer. So we didn't, oh, uh, no. All right, let's go. Yeah, right there. I saw the towers and I was like, oh, it's the school again. Oh, no way. I have some questions for you, oh. Professor. Is that that French guy from the last movie? This is a surprise. There's a rumor that Newt Scamander is headed to Paris. <laughs> I know he's working under your orders. Oh, Gandalf. What do you have to say for yourself, Dumbledore? <laughs> Jude Law's if son. If ever had the pleasure to teach him, you'd know Newt is not a great follower of orders. It's so weird to see that it's chewed law. The time's coming, Newt. Oh. When you're gonna have to pick a side. Hey! Hey! Are you going somewhere? No. We're going somewhere. Jeez. <laughs> He's back, baby! Hey, it's her. Oh, the French school, duh! I can't move against Grindelwald. <laughs> it has to be you. Ooh, battle mage! What up? Crimes of the Grindelwald. The crimes of Grindelwald, what? Whew! That, <laughs> that's pretty cool, man. I mean, so for anybody that hasn't checked out maybe my some of my other stuff or whatever, I was never a Harry Potter fan growing up, ever. Uh, when I, I was in high school for the most part when it came out, so I was a little on the uh, explosions and, and Fast and Furious and whatever else, and that's just dumb. Like, that's kid stuff. Because when it came out, everybody, they were all so young. They were like 10 and 11 or whatever. And I'm like, eh. It's for kids. It's for this. It's for that. And now that I'm older, when I was in my later 20s and stuff like that, I was just like, I just want something fantasy related. And I went back, and I for the last three or four years, I've been going through all, all the movies that I, I brushed off as a like macho teen and early 20-year-old guy. Like, I've seen all the Twilights, not because I'm a big fan of Twilight, because I've always crap, I've always talked bad about them. And I've seen 
one, which was Eclipse, which was my friend gave me a, was supposed to give me a ride home from work, and he ended up giving me a ride to his place, and he was like, I don't want to go anywhere, and I was like stuck at his house, and he and his girlfriend were watching it, and so I watched that, and I, I always said bad things about that movie based off uh, based off the one movie about the whole franchise, so I went back and I've watched, um, things that I didn't like as a teenager or a younger man. Um, I still haven't seen Mean Girls, but that might be one that I want to check out. I've never seen Shaft, which I'm going to I, go check those out. But things that I just never watched. I'm making a huge point to go back and watch all these movies. And Harry Potter was one of them. Um, Harry Potter was definitely uh, one that I wanted to fully check out. Like, I've seen all the Lord of the Rings and all the Hobbits. So I'm like, why not this? This is just, you know, it's just another fantasy world that I haven't seen. And I'm a huge fan of fantasy. And I've watched pretty much all the good fantasy anime and cartoons. Now let's get back into the real movies. Um, so I checked out all the Harry Potters in about a day and a half, maybe. <clears throat> and I liked them all. I definitely think the first one was definitely one that I liked the most for the for the first time re really, really watching them. I didn't like part one, I don't think, all that much. And part two was the fight was lackluster to me. I didn't like... I, I was not a fan of them, and that's one of the things I don't like about Fantastic Beasts, but they do it right. It's because it started out in the real world, not the wizarding world, but like modern world, like cars and, and muggles and stuff like that. I was never the biggest fan of part one because they were all over London. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. I wanted to see the fantasy stuff. Um, but this Fantastic Beast is doing a good blend of starting you out in the real world. <clears throat> with adding wizard stuff to it. That way you don't feel like you're being wrenched out of the fantasy world. Um, in a book, I'm sure that doesn't matter. It doesn't come into play at all. But in a movie, it was not my favorite part. Now, Jude Law being uh, Dumbledore is just weird. It, he doesn't act... It doesn't seem like he's going to act like the traditional Dumbledore... But that was a curmudgeon old man. I went to like one of those databases, like the Google Harry Potter wiki kind of thing, and I've read all about you know uh, Grindelwald and how he and Dumbledore were really like these not Nazis, but they were like almost like fascist wizards in a way, and that they were going to make Muggles and you know Muggles were going to know about wizards and wizards were going to rule everything, and then there was this big three way battle between the Dumbledore brothers, I believe, and Grindelwald, I think that's what it was, and their sister died. Now, I wonder if that's what's going to be showcased in Fantastic Beasts. Is it going to be in this one? Maybe it'll be in the next one. Um, he's already the headmaster here, so possibly that's not the case. I don't know how they're going to really blend it together. If that's, I don't remember Dumbledore being the headmaster when his sister died, so I think that would have to be a different movie or something. I wish Harry Potter would get the same treatment that Star Wars is getting right now from Disney, which is independent movies for independent characters that we love. Like, maybe not a Snape movie, but that would be an... You know, he's the Half-Blood Prince. What the hell does that mean? I don't actually remember. But his lineage and where he comes from, that'd be a cool story. To see a Tom Riddle movie, that would be really awesome. Um... We're getting kind of like a Harry Potter origins kind of story. Not a Harry Potter as in the individual, but like the world, the wizarding world, which everybody just calls Harry Potter. The movie. <clears throat> We're going to see younger Dumbledore and, and Mistis Commander and, and all of those people. But, you know, we're getting a Boba Fett movie and a Han Solo movie in Star Wars. I'd love to see some branch offs from the Harry Potter world. If Rowling wants to do something like that, if she even has thoughts of that, that would be awesome. I'd be so down. Um,. Not a Harry Potter fan as a kid, definitely a Harry Potter kid, uh, fan as an adult. And I'll leave you with that. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Like the video, like the content. You can always like, subscribe, or share. Remember, complete help, uh, complete up to you. Does help me out in some way or another. And I'll see whatever video I'm doing next. Sorry about my voice. It's going out. <clears throat> the more I talk, I got one video to react to, which is going to be the uh, Avengers Infinity War. So if you want to check that out, it's it's already out. It's going to be the first thing I upload. And, uh, but it's the last one I'm reacting to. Saving the best for last. Sorry, Fantastic Beasts in the Harry Potter world, but Avengers Infinity War is something that I have been waiting for for like three years. So check that out if you want, and uh, thanks for watching.